Hey, what's up guys, it's Marcos. Today, we're gonna take a look at how to compress video files. Now, why would you need to reduce the size of a video file? Well, I'll share with you some examples. Uh, I've been working with uh, clients and one of the things they've asked for is to look at the video footage right away. They want it the next day. So there was no time for me to put the video, all the video footage into a hard drive and ship it to them because it was gonna take too long. So what is the alternative? The alternative is to use an uh, online uh, storage service like Dropbox or Google Drive, which I have, but they limit you to the amount of space you can have uh, unless you pay for it, right? Since I didn't really wanna pay for it and uh, we're talking about huge video files, we're talking 20 minute video clips, 10 minutes, five minutes, it amounted to a bunch of gigs which was way too big for what I, you know, what I had online. I thought, well, why not reduce the size of it? I have a free program, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit. And uh, that way I can just share with them, store it, every, store everything under my Google Drive and just share the link to them. So that's what I ended up doing. And the nice thing is that there's not a huge loss of video quality. The second reason is because when you have huge video files, it takes hours to upload uh, to Google Drive or Dropbox, whatever you have, because, uh, well, my internet is relatively fast, but it's still, it, it, it's gonna, it was gonna take hours. So I just didn't like that. Uh, I thought, well, why not compress it? That way I can upload much faster and be done with it. So those are, those are the two reasons why you would want to compress a video. All right, so I've talked enough. Let's jump over to the computer and I'll show you how to compress a video. First of all, we need a program that can compress videos and can do a good job with it. And for that, I recommend Handbrake because it's free and it does a really good job. So if you don't have a Google search Handbrake and or you can go to the website handbrake.fr. You can download this for both Windows and Mac. So once you download it, uh, go ahead and open it up. Let's let me open it up. This is what it looks like when you first open it. Um, the first thing you want to do is select the source file. This is the video clip you want to you want to compress. So now I'm going to select this external drive and I'm going to select a video clip I, I worked on recently. This one is uh, A042 and as you can see, it's 11.52 gigabytes. It's 12 gigabytes big because it's like 30 minutes long. I shot it in 1920 by 1080. So, I mean, imagine if it, this was a 4K video clip, it would have been even bigger. So let's open this one up. Let's open it. It's, it's going to scan it. Now, the first thing you want to check is, is that you want to compress this to an MP.4 file. I don't use MKV. I use MP4. Uh, dimensions. I usually leave it like this. Uh, 19... 20 by 1080. That's yeah, I want to keep the same uh, aspect ratio as how I shot it. The next thing is this filters. You want to keep this off. And usually I don't touch this, but I guess it's a good idea to turn them turn them off. I'm not sure what it does. I haven't really experimented with it, but I guess I would. It's better to turn it off. Now the video uh, in video encoder. I leave it at H.264. And the frame rate, I change it to 23.976 because that's the frame rate I used, okay? So that's very important. I always change the frame rate. Now, this constant quality, this is what it defaults to, quality RF22. If you turn the dial to the right, it, you get better quality video, of course. If you turn it to the left, it's a lesser quality video. So I'm guessing this affects both the quality and the video file size. So 22 is usually what I compress at because that's the default, but if you really wanna preserve the video quality, then select it to the right somewhere around 13 or 14 or 12, that's up to you. So let's let's go a happy medium, maybe 18. And I haven't really experimented with this. So, um, you know, default, I usually leave it at default 22. And I for my in my experience, it does a really good job. I don't see a huge loss of quality by leaving it at 22. Now the next the encoder options, you usually I default to fast. And if you go medium or slow, you preserve a lot of that video quality, but also be aware that the file size is gonna be a little bit bigger the more the slower you you bring this dial. All right. So if you want it super fast and you don't really care about preserving the video quality, uh, then you might want to turn this up. But I think medium or fast is good. 
I usually leave it at fast and I, you know, I haven't experienced much problems with the loss of video quality. Now audio, I want to set this to 128, uh, the bit rate, and I leave it as it is. AAC, subtitles and chapters, I don't do anything with that. Okay, so that's it. Now I can start this uh, queue, but before that, let's make sure we're saving it to the right place. So if you go to two, it, this is where you want to save it to. And in this case, I want to save it in the same place where I'm grabbing the video file. So this is camera one, I'm going to choose that. And, but I'm going to rename this to compressed. Compressed, A042. And now you just click, click start. And actually, I'm not going to click start because I've already, I've already done this. So uh, let's just jump over to the file. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. And I'm going to show you the difference in video size. So if we go here. Uh, actually, I, had, I did it twice. Let me delete this one. Move to trash. Okay. So first of all, we're going to take the video, the original video file, and we're going to look at the size. As you can see here, it's 12 gigs, nearly 11.5 gigs, 30 minute long video. And then let's open up the, or get the info for the compressed video. And as you can see, it's only 548 megabytes. I don't know the math on that, but it's a huge compression. And it's also, you know, it's the same duration, same dimensions. Now let's compare the video quality. All right, so here's the compressed. This is a compressed video file, and this is the uncompressed. There's definitely a difference. This is definitely sharper. Uh, this is not as sharp, but still, I it's it's pretty good uh you are compressing so you, you can't expect to preserve this exact same video quality but i don't think most people are going to tell the difference in the loss of video quality between this and this so in my opinion this does an incredible job of compressing a video all right guys so that's how i compress video files it's my way of doing it if you know of uh, better better settings to use please share down below i would like to know about that uh, any questions, comments, please share down below. If you like this kind of stuff, give it a thumbs up and also uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so. All right, as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.